Hey guys, it's Brian Thomason with Fit Anywhere. This is going to be a session on the TRX Suspension Trainer. We're going to be doing yoga and some stretch. And we'll be starting on the mat and finishing on the mat with opening and closing. Uh, a little meditation, if you will, a little connection piece before we move into the asanas, before we move into your yoga mat practice. Okay, so find a comfortable seated position or you can lay down in Shavasana. I have a bolster here, a little meditation bolster I'm going to use. Everybody's a little different, so find a comfortable position for your body. Once you're comfortable here, you have the hands open, a little open mudra. Connecting the thumb and the index finger, resting the wrists on the thighs. Observe first, checking in on the breath, on the body. Assessing for any tight spots, sore injuries. Moving from observation to connection. Come in and connect with your breath. Taking the breath in through the nose. Inhalation. At the top of the inhalation, the lungs are filled. Take a pause before you begin your exhalation, moving to the bottom. See if you can establish a little rhythm with your breath. Softening, melting, Bring that breath, bring that softening to different parts of your body. To your forehead, to your jaw, to your neck, your shoulders, your spine, your pelvis, your legs. Theme for today is going to be our fifth niyama. We're going to work through the yamas and the niyamas, the observations of life, the external world, the niyamas and the observation of self, the internal world. The fifth niyama, Ishvatra, Pindana. In a word, surrender. In a phrase, surrender to the divine. Divine, if you have a religious association, it means following the faith, surrendering to your faith or your God. But regardless of how divine is, is defined, yoga philosophy encourages us to recognize something larger than ourselves and to surrender to that something. Yoga itself means union. Surrendering is acknowledging the connection between ourselves and the divine, something that is greater than ourselves. Sometimes we're striving for control where there is none. When we meet some challenges in life, sometimes we need to surrender to the path of life. We are not alone captaining the boat. We might be steering and choosing the route, but we don't have control of the weather. If 
for our poses for the practice today. Surrender to what your body can do right now without resisting or pushing unsafely. We're going to be doing some splits, some hip openers, um, your wide stance forward fold or standing towards. See where you can kind of recognize that you're resisting and see if you can find a little bit of that surrendering concept to move into that pose deeper and see where it takes you. Connect with your breath. Take an inhalation to the top. All the way to the top, filling the lungs. A moment of pause. Exhalation to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. When you get to that last step before the floor, a little acceleration in the breath as you finish the exhalation. Take your time moving from the mat to a standing position as we move into our pose, to our practice. Take as much time as you want or need. So I will begin with the suspension unit, uh, the TRX suspension unit at the mid length. Exhalation to center. Exhalation, right knee in, twist, and look underneath the left arm. Exhalation to center. Push forward from the hips. Standing tall, move forward. Alright, so the arms, the handles are just above the waistline here. Okay. Handles or foot cradles. Keep the hands open when you can, unless you have to grip. So I'm going to do a little arm swing twist. Just letting the heels kind of float and move as you need to. The twist facing away from the anchor. Exhalation, return to center. Exhalation, now we're going to twist the other way to the right. Keep the chin up. 
soft gaze to the sky. Eyes can be open or closed, so I'm going to talk to you about that gaze upward. That's your neck and chin position, your posture. Exhalation, return to center. Bring the hands into the hook cradles. Bring the arms up. This is your high mountain pose here. Bring one, uh, bring your feet together, center. Lift your right knee up to the hip height here. Hands can be in the foot cradles or against the handles here. What we're gonna do is move into your warrior three. So we're gonna let that right leg come through. I'm gonna move to the handles here. Come into warrior three. Hips are square to the floor, reaching back from the heel, forward from the head, spreading and reaching forward from the hands and fingertips. Exhalation, let's reach. Come up to the high warrior, lift that right knee up. And warrior three. And we're going to transition to the figure four pose. So we're going to come standing tall, crossing the right leg over the left thigh. And sitting down into figure four. And then from here, transitioning to a flying pigeon pose, folding forward, reach, straightening out that left leg. So I'll bring that right foot gently to the mat. Mountain pose. All right. This time we're going to lift that left knee up. Isolation, standing tall, high mountain, left knee up. Warrior three. Reaching forward, reaching back, spread the fingers. Now come into your figure four pose. Make subtle adjustments as you need to. If you need to move that support foot back a little bit. From here, we're moving forward. Come into foot cradles. Flying pigeon pose. Turn to face away from our anchor here. All right, first move here is going to be wide airplane pose. So my right foot will be my support leg.
right foot forward, take a step. The hands turn. Fall in tree pose. So I'm going to stay with that right foot support leg. The left leg comes back and through. Forward fold, keeping that right leg straight and long. Lean into it. Use your handles. Now, as you release here, we're going to move into your humble warrior pose. So gently bring that left foot to the mat. Your right knee is now bent. Fold over that right thigh. Take a step forward, round the back, stack the vertebrae, standing tall to Dasa. Move back a little bit here. Center your left foot. And now let's move into your wide air plank pose. Gently release, right foot grounded. Take a step forward, turn the hands. Falling tree pose, left foot support leg. Bringing the right leg through, fold. Gently move into your humble warrior pose. Step forward, round the back, stack the vertebrae, Tudasana. To a T stretch. So we're looking to open up and bring length to the front of the torso, your chest, shoulders, biceps. And all the while, I'd like to have that back heel on the floor grounded for a calf stretch, calf length. Turn here, a little windmill to the left, the left arm drops, the right hand comes high. All right, now we're going to step back and step forward, switch the front leg, and return to the T stretch position. Really up to you how much you challenge this. Remember our theme today is surrender. So recognize when the resistance is you. Not your ability, but that stop sign, that break. Moving down the road, not just with the accelerator, but with the brake on. See if you can let go of that break. All right, right turn. Right arm down, left hand high. And gently return, bring a step back. Okay, now let's bring the hands up to overhead. Let's do a little overhead reach for fold combination here. 
Heels are grounded, rooted. Extend the fingertips as high as you can beyond the shoulders. Feel free to add subtle movement, sway, rhythm. Connecting with the breath changes between two poses, your overhead reach and your forward fold. Find your exhale and fold. Exhale to overhead reach. Always, eyes have the option of being open or closed. Exhalation, fold. Sometimes closing the eyes is simply about progression, making things a little more challenging for the pose. Enhances your ability to move into the other senses, balance, breath, tension. Exhale to reach. And slowly back up here. A little option for a little water. We're going to move to triangle, uh, pyramid triangle combination, still at the mid length. If you like, you can incorporate the block for this one. Solution with that left arm come down. Now we're going to maintain this fold. Now we're going to do your revolve triangle today. So the right hand over both handles and then exhalation to open up to the right side. Exhalation, gently release, left arm comes down. With one hand on each channel, press down, step forward, return to your Tadasana, mountain pose. And then step back with the left foot. Exhalation, fold to pyramid. Exhalation, slowly bring that right arm down. Left hand to the handles. 
Set your right hand. And now open up to the left side to your revolver. Exhalation, release. Left arm comes down, one hand on each hand. Press down into the handle, step forward. Standing tall, Tadasana. Feel free to sip a little water anytime. hand across the handles. We're going to do a little quad stretch here. Supporting the right foot angle or toe. So for that quad stretch, we're going to keep the, the thighs close together, side by side. And we're going to position that right hand so I go to the big toe and my palm is facing away. On the exhalation, I'm going to gently lean forward a little bit and I'm going to lift that back leg up. Space between the knee and the floor. Exhalation, gently release. Now we're going to put that right hand across the handles. On the left side to your quad stretch. Nice and long here through the spine, through the neck. Breathe into your pose. Position the left hand to the toe, palm away. Gently lean forward just a little bit here. Lifting that back leg up. Dancer's pose. And gently release. Okay. We're going to do a little uh, warrior three and a half moon here before we return to the Lord of the Dance. So again, you have the option here to have that block and play. Handles just above the waistline, maybe base of the ribcage. Right foot support, we're gonna move into Warrior Three. Pull, arms forward, heel back. Handles to the left hand. Bring that right hand underneath to support. And then open up to that left side to the half moon. Lengthen. Use your exhale to lengthen through the arm, through the legs. Exhalation, left foot comes to the mat, round your spine and then stack it. Wonderful. To the handles, left foot support, warrior three. Reach. Right hand to the handles, set your left. Find the exhalation to open the half moon. Length. Gently release with the exhalation.
gonna bring a little length into the straps here, coming down to about high calf position. So that means when the straps are just relaxed, that the handles will fall to the same height as the top of my calf. All right, for this one, you can shorten up your foot cradles here if you're working without the shoes. So you open the Velcro up and pull it through about two to three inches. I'll have my foot in both foot cradles here, so some people prefer just using the one. I like to use both. A little more support and you don't get that drop in the height. All right, so what we're gonna do here is Single suspension facing away, Lord of the Dance here. So I'm going to have my right foot suspended. Don't get out there too far away because we want to actually, this is one of the few times we want to keep the uh, strap line loose. So I'm going to, from this position here, right foot suspended, I'm going to have the right hand come to the strap or to the triangle close to that handle. And then once I'm ready here, Moving into the Lord of the Dance pose, I'm going to have the left arm extend up. I'm going to lift and elevate, pulling that strap. Keep that chin up here. Surrender. Okay, I'm going to gently going to release here. Lift the foot out of suspension. So I'm going to have the left foot move into suspension. Same side, hand moves to the strap line. Ideally, grabbing the triangle that comes to the handle and moving into that Lord of the Dance pose. Stay tall with Lord of the Dance pose. We're not leaning forward. We want to keep the spine as erect as we can here. Relax the foot within the foot cradles. And then gently release here. Nicely done. Okay, next up we're going to be doing old standing splits. So I'm going to open up those foot cradles. I'm going to return that metal piece to the opening to clip into the fold. All right, so for this one, bring your, your mat underneath your anchor line. So that your strap line essentially points to the center and the end of your mat. I'm going to stand underneath my anchor point here. I'm going to start with my right foot suspended. So I'm going to slide my right foot through both. You can stay at the high camp here, or if you like, you can fully lengthen. Standing splits. So let's move into this two or three times. Find the length. You can start with your support foot with a little toe out. It's going to be more challenging to have your heel toe from your support leg point in the direction of your suspended leg. So you're challenging your splits here. You're challenging hamstrings, hip. Let's draw and we'll go at least one more time here. So as I can into a second, I'm going to Turn my support foot a little bit more to point in the direction. Right. After you release there, you're going to go ahead and switch feet. So I think at least two times here, unless you're working on your own, you've got a third time, you're going a little shorter duration. Draw it back in. And then one more time, 
chant to hear and remember our theme today, surrender. And find the resistance that's coming from you and see if you can let go of that resistance. Surrender to the pose. Stay in suspension and the right hand. See if they can come over and grab that left ankle. And now switch. Right hand goes into suspension. Left hand to the right ankle. Bring both hands back to suspension. Press down and lift the torso up. Bring your feet in a little bit here. Alright, so if you need to back up a little bit. I'm got the hands in the foot cradles. I'm gonna come up high with the arms. Tension in the strap line. And I've got the feet in just a little wider than the hips. And I'm going to sink down into that squat. Toes forward. Exhalation. Press. Stand tall. And let the arms come down. Alright. Bring the edge of the mat out in front of your strap line. Make sure you're center. Let's go back to the high camp. And if you're working without shoes, you're gonna come back and shorten up the foot cradles. We're gonna have the right foot come into suspension, getting into your tabletop position. So kneeling entry. to the mat or to the block. We're going to open up on the left side. This is a revolved side angle pose. Right hand comes back. Again, right knee can be down here. Right hand up. If you can lift 
that right knee up, point your right toe away, bring that shoulder all the way over the left shoulder. And I'm gonna bring that right hand back to the mat, the right knee back to the mat. Nice and tall here. So I'm bringing the hands off the mat. I'm gonna have my left hand come back and grab the strap. And then my right, left hand elevated. So right hand pulls the strap here, lifting that right foot up away from the mat. Strong through the lower back arch. Now release. All right, let's do a little low lizard pose here. So we're gonna come down to your forearms and then lift that right knee up. Again, that block can be here. You can be on top of your block here with the forearms. Surrender to the pose. Right knee to the mat. Now you're going to push back to a seated over bend. So the hips come back to the right heel. The left leg is straightened out. You can straddle the left leg. You can come to the toes. Or you can come back to the straps. Let's return to the box here, tabletop. Switching suspension, right foot comes out, left foot goes in, right foot forward. And let's start with that high lizard plank. Hands down, the right arm pushing against the right knee, lift the left knee up, let the hips sink back, lengthen. Exhalation, right hand up. Right hand comes down. Again, anytime that left knee can be on the floor here or on a block. We're going to open up here on the left. See if you can position that more. Back toe forward. Everything open to the left. Right hand down, excuse me, left hand down, left knee down. Let the hands come off the mat. The left hand's gonna come back and grab your stirrups. Right hand high, and now I'm gonna pull with that left hand and lift my left foot away from the mat. Strong through the arch, so now leaning forward up nice and tall. The strong lower back arch. Okay, I'm going to gently release here. And then let's go to our low lizard forearm plank, keeping that right foot forward. Again, bring in the block here if you need to elevate the floor or a blanket. Gently left knee down. Push back to seated forward bend. And gently release. 
knees. So we're going to slide that left foot out of suspension here. You can uh, fully open return that TRX to its kind of normal position. Slide that clip back into the fold. Okay, without the TRX here, you can face either way on your mat. Tabletop is hands and knees. Curl the toes under and push up to your downward facing dog. Three-legged dog here, extending the right leg. And we're going to transition to pigeon fold. We're going to fold, bringing that right knee underneath, squaring the hips up to the floor, lengthening, letting that left foot lay flat. Turn to your tabletop, curl the toes, and return to downward facing dog. Surrender. Let that resistance go. Okay, from here we're going to take your time and lay down on your mat on your stomach. here. And you start tighten the lower back and the glutes. And then lift first in the upper body. Chest away, chin up. And then bring your feet up, tighten your butt. You can maintain this position. Or you can bring your arms back over the pockets. and relax. Okay, one more time. Tighten first, lift slow, upper body first. So you can continue to breathe into the pose. Legs are up. Arms behind if you like. Gently release. Okay, we're going to transition to a cobra here. This can be soft. And then we're going to move back and down into child pose. Some here, find a comfortable seated position, or you can lay down in Shavasana. So we do a little closing here. Observe. How's your 
your body feel? How is it different than how it felt when you checked in this morning? And we began our session. Connect with the breath. Find rhythm in your breath. Idvara Pranidhana. Surrender to the divine. come at us in life where we want to have control but we do not have control surrender ask yourself if this is something you have control over inhale to the top exhale to the bottom Exhale to the bottom. Bring your hands together in prayer pose. To the third eye, to your forehead. May your thoughts be positive. And to your lips. May your words be kind. And to your heart. Heart be filled with compassion for others and for self. Namaste. Thanks, guys.